With a successful career in Bloom. I'm not doing it for less than seven. Hit seven figures and I'll do it. A busy personal life. I actually got a call back for this Taco Bell commercial, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it or not. And a charity whose nature is doubtful at best. It seemed as if Olivia Munn had nowhere to rise but up. But then, in 2009, the unthinkable not only got thought, but was spoken out of somebody's mouth. And as it turns out, this wasn't just any mouth. No, she is a true hook. Um. How did it affect you when TV icon William Shatner referred to you as an expensive whore? It was devastating. Especially brutal because he was my childhood hero. I can imagine. And I lost so much sleep. And I couldn't focus. And I saw his face everywhere, and it just made me so mad. I actually wrote a poem about it. Do you mind? Oh, please do. It's called Pecked by the Shatbird by Olivia Munn. Malicious feathers, razor beak. With hunter's heart and hateful shriek. You fouled my fountain with your speak. William Shatner is a dick. Wow. Huh. Yeah. Poetry may heal all wounds, but at the time, the incident sent Olivia into a downward spiral. On set, this translated into outbursts. Stop that! You guys, we have to go to commercial. I'm not kidding. Full-blown tantrums. Can you get out of my face? What? Who has the microphone on? Who has the IFB? Not you, not you. Not you and this f***ing that. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Ah! Where's my coffee? Where's my coffee? And outside the studio, Olivia was slowly losing control. This just into the E! Newsroom. E! News has obtained this exclusive video of G4 host Olivia Munn trying to purchase $500 worth of pie with signed copies of the Playboy magazine with her on the cover. I don't understand. Pablo Picasso used to do it. He signed napkins. You're not I Pablo didn't... Picasso. I am too Pablo Picasso, okay? I'm the, ma I'm the Pablo Picasso of Ben's magazines, you Seriously, you know what? If anybody wants one of these? Okay, I'll be outside. Do you bring your own magic marker? Because I don't want to bring Sharpies everywhere. I can't do that. So, um, anyways, stop looking at me. D did you want one, sweetheart? Right, did you have five dollars? Oh. Get out of Get out of my face! Stop. Then, around midnight on June 12th, 911 received this distress call. 911, state your emergency. Please help me. Ma'am, I need you to calm down. Please. Ma'am, calm down and tell me what's wrong. Oh my God, there's someone. Ma'am, is there someone in your house? No, no, there's someone on Twitter pretending to be me. Uh, excuse me? They're using my photo and making it look like I'm tweeting tweets about things I would never tweet. Never, never. Ma'am? I tried retweeting their Twitter tweets to let all my tweets people know I was in the tweets tweeting those tweets, but then Twitter went down because there were too many tweets as if they were even possible. So now what do I do? I don't know. I, I... Oh, never mind. It's back up. Bye. And it went from bad too really bad. I almost killed a Pikachu. You're welcome. Buzz, buzz. <laughs> As Olivia's life headed further off track, her fetish for costumes, once considered an eccentricity, went fully unrestrained. Harness, make sure that everything's pulled down so I don't get a massive camel toe. I just had to wear costumes. I mean, every day. There was this one time I did a music video with Perry Grip, and I chose to wear 11 different costumes in less than three minutes. Obscured behind a cloud of foam, crinoline, and velvet, it was as if the Olivia Munn the whole world fell in love with was disappearing. It's just a droopy vagina. Describe what was happening to you. I really don't even know. I mean, I would just look in the mirror, and I would just think, there's something missing. And the next thing you know, I had a wig and rubber tubing, and then I was dressed as Yoko Ono, and I was just out in the world. And as time bore on, the references got more and more obscure. One day, I dressed as Ilali Dama, the Dalai Lama's baby mama. Mm -hmm. And then I came as Hulk Hogan's hair. Mm -hmm. And then that's when I started hybridizing. 
What does that mean? I dressed as Peter Pinocchio, mm -hmm. the little boy who wouldn't grow up to be a real boy. Wow, <laughs> that is so convoluted, I don't even know where to begin. When did you realize that you actually had a problem? When I dressed up as Chewbacca. The Jewish Chewbacca. Why did you let this take over your life? I always told myself it was for the fans, but I don't know. I don't know. Were you Olivia Munn hiding? Maybe. Maybe you were overwhelmed by the spotlight. No, it doesn't really sound No, you were in the public eye for far too long, wearing many different faces, but yet the only face you wouldn't show is your own. Isn't that true? <sighs> there you go. Let it out. <sighs> yes, there you go. You have been holding this in for such a long time. Wait, wait, what is that? What, what is that? Nothing. Show me your hands. Nothing. Show, give me your hands. Give me. Okay. Give, no, the other one. The other, no. Give me the other one. Yeah, no, <laughs> show me both hands. Both hands. Show. Give. What is this? Eye drops? No, it's Diet Sprite. <sighs> it's hard to cry on cue. It clearly was a question that you wanted me to cry. Yeah, but I could get you there. Although this might have been just another dark patch in Olivia's otherwise bright career, the worst was yet to come. In her despair, Olivia turned to her greatest source of comfort, pie. Kelly, do you eat pie? What is pie? I got pie all over me! Do! Do! What do you mean? Ah! Pie! And what was once a love affair with the delicious treat soon became an addiction. It is my greatest love. It was an all-out pie-murdering rampage that culminated in the blackest moment of Olivia's career and one few will ever forget. I want to cover myself in it. I couldn't take it anymore. I just jumped. There was pie everywhere and I was drowning. What was going through your mind at that moment? Oh my God. Yummy, yummy, yum yum, and then a yummo. I didn't think I'd ever recover. I just felt so lost and alone. How did you find your way back? Well, it's like that old saying goes, once you jump into a giant pie, Eventually, you have to get out and hose yourself off. I, actually, that's not it. You know what? Never mind. And Olivia, once again, would prove her resilience simply by soldiering on.